Okay, here's my 2005 Ford Focus. I'm just using this vehicle to demonstrate my uh, homemade in-cylinder pressure transducer that I made. Um, what I got here is uh, got some homemade leads that have banana plugs on them. I'm going to plug that into my meter. This is actually a scope meter. It'll, it'll, it works like an oscilloscope and a meter. Depend, I can select either one. I really like this thing. It's a Unity uh, UT81B meter. I like it a lot. I use it all the time. Anyway, uh, here's my homemade tool. As you can see, uh, I'm going to be hooking this up to the battery when I get ready. This will get battery power. And then I'll be screwing this into my spark plug hole and I'll be able to snap this in. Hopefully this will work. But uh, um, I'm going to just randomly pick a... Oh, I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to pull this plug, this coil pack and this plug. And... Uh, I'll also pull this fuel injector while it's running so I'm not just squirting fuel inside the cylinder but uh, that's what I, that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna get busy Okay guys, let me show you what I got here. I got my little homemade tool that I built. It's my in-cylinder pressure transducer is what I'm calling it. Right now I have some banana plugs hooked into the signal wire and a ground. I have it hooked up to power over here. Power and ground. Um, I have it going, these leads going to my uh, scope meter. I'm going to turn power on. See my light came on. That means I have this thing's powered up. Uh, this here is my pressure transducer. Okay, I got it powered on. I have everything hooked up. I'm going to go start the car and we're going to see if, what kind of wave pattern we get on this. See what it looks like. Okay, I got my car here. Push my clutch in. Okay. All right, let's go look at that, see if we can get a pattern. I'm going to turn my scope meter on. It's going to... It's auto-ranging. I'm going to uh, change the range a little bit. Oh, going the wrong way. There we go. I'm going to move this signal down some. Well, that is a typical, uh, that's a very good pattern there. I'm seeing my uh, compression. This is compression. This is my power stroke. That's my exhaust. I see intake. Okay, this is a very good waveform. I see uh, compression, power stroke, exhaust, uh, intake, and compression again. That's a that's a good wave wave pattern there. I would say my pressure transducer is working. Let me play. Let me play around with the settings here. There we go. Okay, I'm going to turn this off, give it a break. Turn this off. I'm going to take all this stuff apart real quick. 
I'm going to take my disconnect, disconnect my positive and negative here. Got that disconnected. I'm going to unhook my meter leads here. Uh, I'm just mostly playing around with this thing today. I just curious if it worked. It worked pretty good. It looked like a normal pattern to me. I think later on I might try it with one of my different uh, oscilloscopes. One a little better than this one. This one's kind of got a really small screen, kind of hard to see. It works good, but uh, I was just doing some preliminary tests. Oh, that's fuck. That's hot. Son of a bitch. That's hot. I gotta get a rag for that, man. That's hot as shit. That's warm. Whew. That's toasty. I guess compression gets hot. Should have known that. <laughs> anyway. Boy, that's warm. That is toasty. Whew. That is one toasty cable. I mean hose. All compression. Real hot. Okay. Alright, well. Whew. Toasty. Alright, I'm going to throw my spark plug back in. <laughs> 